Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalist 3 Divine Wind. This is your host Shenra. We're currently playing as the nation of Bihar and in our first session last time we took over uh, Bengal entirely which amazed the hell out of me because we only had four territories they had six and we were able to annex their six territories. That's ridiculous. Um, anyway weird gameplay aside we lost two infamy thanks to our mission. Our mission was to conquer Jharkhand, and since we did, as we took over all this, we got a minus two infamy from that mission. So great. So instead of six infamy for this country, we only got four. And uh, again, all of that was to religious reasons why we had low infamy. Um, as you can see, Rajputana took over two regions of Delhi and one region of Sindh, which is great because uh, we, want, we want them to be strong over there. And Delhi's losing to Timurids and Chagtai. Deccan has lost almost everything to Vijayana to Vij excuse me to Vijayana whatever. <laughs> and we have some rebels headed up to Chittagong from Arakan, which is fine. We may have to leave and come back, but whatever. We'll do what we need to do. And since we're not at war anymore, and we're going to stay at peace for a little while while our fort builds up. Uh, I need to... We're not in war taxes anymore. I think our economy is doing okay. And any more dudes we can get? Naval, morale of armies... Uh... Mm, nobody amazing. Inflation reduction... Yeah. Nothing amazing. We'll do something later when we actually need to. Right now we're just gonna chill for a bit. And let some time pass. And hopefully this guy won't die. <laughs> When January rolls around, I'm going to recruit... Oh, Royal Marriage with Orissa. And now we get that alliance offer from Rajputana, which we wanted from the start. So yeah, let's do that alliance with Rajputana. Great. No Diplos, so we can't get that Royal Marriage. But, whatever. And I think maybe we could go to war with Delhi and get Lucknow and Agra. That would be good. But we gotta first fend off these dudes. So why don't we adjust our treasury, treasury a little bit, get some money coming in, and next month we will recruit some dudes. Tengu alliance with Nepal. Oh, they broke their alliance with Nepal. Ah, Royal Metro the Risa. Cool. Lose one infamy. Wow, these missions are awesome. Protect our brethren in Agra. That's exactly what I was gonna do. So, I think that means we're going to lose more infamy. Yeah. So, <laughs> I just said we were going to go take over these two territories, and now we get a mission to do it, which will lose infamy as well. Wow, Delhi's got 13 units there. Wow. Uh, that could be dangerous as all hell. But, you know, who cares? Might as well give it a shot, and hopefully we can fend off these, these dudes in the meantime. Oh yeah, they have low infamy and bad terrain, so we might win this. And we have help coming too, cool. Yeah, we'll win that. Make them go away. And then, it's December. So you guys are going for Agra. We need to do this soon. We need to go fight Delhi soon because as soon as they get peace with the Timurids and the Chagtai, then they'll have five years of peace with those hordes. And that'll be five years that they can just come over and stomp on us. So, all right, so they, let's see what they're doing. First of the year, we can build our fort. You are going to fight Chagtai. All right, maybe this is time for us to we're going to fail this mission if they get peace with Raj, because Rajputana is going to take Agra. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm freaking scatterbrained when it comes to this game, because there's always so much going on. Still have no Diplos, so we can't even declare war. And uh, our allies, Rajputana, have not offered us to enter the or called us to arms yet to enter the war. So can't really do anything, but we do have money. 
So let's start building that fort. Yeah. And I'll leave those units there. I need to start building some new units up here. Perfect. And then I can start fighting Delhi. Have to wait a month though. And you guys, oh, oh, now we've been called to arms. Okay, uh, Delhi allied with Yemen and Gujarat. I think we need to put that off for a tiny bit. Because as soon as we get a Diplo, we can do it under our terms and our war. If we join their war, we'll just be the lesser partner, and they'll be able to force us to get peace too early. So if we do it under our terms, like right there we go, pause February 1st, now we have a diplomat, now we can declare war under our terms, which is religious liberation, which is perfect. I'm going to call allies, very likely and very likely, so Orissa will help us, that's fantastic. Alright. So Yemen dishonored the alliance, Gujarat dishonored the alliance, and Orissa honored. We have Orissa on our side. And we're recruiting units, and Delhi's going the other way, so hopefully we can go in quickly. Oh yeah, Rajputana's going to take over Sindh. Cool, good for you guys. Anyway, hopefully we can go in quickly and actually do some damage and, and get out of the war in a uh, respectably quick manner. <laughs> Fort's almost done in Bihar. need to wait for some more money before we can recruit more units. Oh, derp. War taxes. Hello. Alright, you're fighting Chagtai. That's great. I wish our mission was for luck now, because it looks like Raj is going to get Agra. But maybe they'll settle for peace without getting Agra. I don't know. Because they still have Sutlej. Whatever that is. These guys still aren't done yet. Lost the alliance, blah blah blah. Alright, you guys are following them to Ladakh, so your army's getting even farther away. Champa declared war on Brunei, don't have Kaza. How come you don't have Kaza's belly? Everyone has Kaza's belly at the beginning of the game. Well, on something. Alright, so we're gonna go take Lucknow. And Lucknow. Actually, we can go to Mawa. Armies under siege in Chittagong. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course they would come back. Oh, we have more money. Oop. We have money. Get me more units. More units. Yeah, I, I know horse are better at the beginning of the game, but I uh, kind of need units. I need them cheap because I am a poor bastard. All right, so we won in Chittagong. They're going to Vanga. We should. Probably, probably do something about that. 25th of April. Let's see if we can take our big dude, and, yeah, and go to Vanga. There you go, and chase them and kill them, hopefully. You're almost in luck now. Aha. So Gujarat is at war with only Rajputana. They didn't, they didn't come join our war. So maybe we'll be able to get Agra after Gujarat. Hopefully Gujarat can kill Rajputana's army here. Does that make any sense? Oh my god, another big revolt. Well, now we're definitely going to have to get out of there. That is a hellhole. Wow. Wow, yeah. Revolt, 11%. 8%, 8%. Well, this is, this is, see, this is my problem. I expand too quickly and now I'm already invading. I'm already invading Delhi when I haven't even consolidated my territory over here. I've got revolts and stuff and I'm like, dude, I'm going to go invade someone. Oh well, it's just how I play. I'm bad at this game. What can I say? All 
Alright, so we are sieging Lucknow. And hopefully Rajputana... Well, I was going to say hopefully they can lose, but I don't know if they can. They look like they're really strong. They're 9 versus 6 and they're defending. They probably have a bonus. Well, I'm really surprised that... Uh, let's see, Sind... Okay, that's fine. I'm really surprised that Arakan had two revolts here, and they're both 4,000 men. That's that's a lot to deal with. That's too much for me to deal with, really. And they may still beat me. Alright, this guy's almost done. What day is he finish? 15th of June. Alright, good. Come on, win! Alright, we have more money, we can recruit more troops. Aha, good. Uh, yep. So, uh, it looks like Gujarat won, just barely. So they forced Rajputat to retreat to Jaipur, which is their capital. So which means we can go in, get Agra, and hopefully we can just take one, two, three, and maybe force Delhi into accepting peace. Because Delhi will not want to be at war with uh, all these countries at once. Delhi's currently at war with these guys, these guys, uh, Chagtai, and us. So it's just too much for Delhi to deal with. They already got peace with Gondwana just to get rid of uh, one territory and get out of that war. Oh! Sweet, Orissa is going to help us fight these rebels. Thank you, Orissa. You know, I didn't want that alliance with you, but you've already proven to be good allies. Hmm, I do have a Diplo. I don't really want to save it for Delhi because it's kind of silly. You guys want a marriage, but hmm, kind of want alliance with VJ. I hope VJ will dishonor one of their alliances soon because they're they're allied with everyone. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe a marriage would be good. Hmm. Ayutthaya. How about you guys? Unlikely. You guys just aren't cool, are ya? How about Champa? You guys are, um, what's it called? Hindu. Just like me. And... Cool. Majapit's doing okay against Asa. Well, I don't know. See... We border Tibet, and Tibet could be a good ally simply because they are not uh, Hindu. So when it comes time that we have to fight like Assam and Nepal, Tibet will be a good ally against them because they're not Hindu, and we are. So we don't really want to fight them on our own, but I don't know, maybe we'll have to. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So we have marriage and ally, ally and marriage. Gondwana, we don't have anything. Assam, we have that. Uh, Manipur. Well, we could try. And hope for, th hope for the best. Excuse me. Cool. So let's go ahead and... Oh, I still worried about this one. No, we lost and should have gone. Damn. Alright, well, maybe Arissa will help us. That will be a big improvement. And... Gondwana, are you at war with anyone? Deccan and Oman. Yeah, but you don't have to worry about Deccan because Vijayanagar is taking over Deccan. Vijayanagar. Vijayanagar. War is looking good with Delhi just because their army is up in Ladakh. And I'm wondering if they're going to go fight Chagtai or if they're going to try to save some of their land. Hopefully they'll go fight Chagtai. Because if they try to save their land, I am just utterly boned. I have no chance of doing anything against Delhi's 13-man army when I only have four, seven. I've got seven dudes. Seven. That's it. Well, six and a half. One building. All right, so we are sieging two towns now. Lucknow is 38%. Uh, my army finished here. Orissa is coming to help. Thank you, Orissa. You guys are awesome. And I should leave this army there, but... Yeah, I'll leave I'll leave the army there. All 
All right, cool. So Rajputana is going back up to Penapot. So hopefully when Delhi comes back down here, which they will eventually, they'll fight Rajputana and not me. Here's hoping that my allies get slaughtered. <laughs> Nothing personal, allies. I just want you to die. That's all. Oh, I lost my money that I put into that fort there because of that stupid rebel. Oh, when the rebels take your land, you lose any building progress that you were doing. So I spent that gold on that fort. Now I don't have it anymore. Oh, that's so bad. That is uncool in so many ways. Oh well, can't do anything about it now. Uh, Delhi already wants peace. They want a white peace for sure, but... Oh yeah, look, Timurids are in there just killing everything. Sweet. Yeah, the Timurids have 11 dudes, Delhi's got 13 dudes, Chagtai had, what, 8 or 9 or something? I mean, the hordes are just so strong at the start of the game. Oh wow, you guys are already at war. Nepal, Asana, Manavor. Alright, no, no, that's good. I think that's good. Because when we fight Nepal, Asana, and Manavor, then we'll have buddies. I think. We'll see. Asa will seed Siaka, Palambang, whatever. So now the Delhi can't even get back to us without going through the Timurids. That's just great. That's fantastic. It gives us time to conquer stuff. And Gujarat's gonna start conquering Rajapur. And are you guys still at war? No, you got you guys got a white piece or something. Cause it looked like Rajputana was about to like annex you. Oh well. Ooh, we have a diplo. Diplo, diplo. Um <laughs> What do we want? I still want that alliance. Can't get it. We got our marriage here. Kinda want a marriage here. Give it a shot. Cool, royal marriage. And we're just going to sit there and let Arissa fight our battles for us. Good job, Arissa. You, you, you get a cookie. You want a cookie? You get a cookie. You go down to Malwa. Excellent minister. Read the administrative benefits. We don't need stability. Then let's do army and navy tradition. It's okay. Don't really need it, but okay. Tibet will seed Us. Really? Oh, wow. Well, that sucks. I don't really want to fight a stronger Nepal. Hmm. Who you are allied with? Assam and Manipur, and you are allied with Assam and Nepal. And you are allied with Gondwana and Manipur, and yeah. Oh, are you allied with Gondwana? Really? Interesting. So these rebels may just die right here. Come on, rebels, die. And in India, we're going to go start taking Mawa. Port is under siege in Mawa. Deccan and Ramillion have sinned. Delhi wants to white peace again, but we're not interested. All right, cool. Looks like our allies are starting to kick some butt. They're going to go start taking over Gujarat. Now that Delhi is very busy with all these Timurids and stuff. Now that'll work out for us. Yeah, so that so I think both the rebel armies are dead, which is great, which means we can start building our fort again as soon as we have some money. And I I think we should be safe to go ahead. I want some land and government more than anything else. Like, why did I do that? There, go like that, and then like that. Bingo. Just in case there's another revolt, I'm going to send another dude down there. Is doing well. That's great. If they get strong enough, then when we fight Vijayanagar, 
and trust me, we will have to fight these dudes. They are conquering fiends. Then at least we'll have the orange dudes and these dudes at our side. And the orange dudes are not going to get very strong, but these dudes might. So hopefully they will. All right, we got Bihar. That was quick. Um, yeah, I guess go help him, Mawa. So the way the hordes work, you can see they already got uh, Kohistan and Molten. The way they work is they take over your lands, like Lahore, and then as time passes, they conquer them. They don't even have to get peace, they just conquer and keep moving. So it's a very effective way of spreading your land. And it, it sucks if you're the defender, because there's not much you can really do about it. So you're going to renounce claims on Bihar. You had claims on Bihar? Oh, that's right. Delhi starts with claims to a lot of stuff. They start with claims to all of Bihar, actually. They start with all of these four territories with cores. So there's a Delhi core right there. Delhi core. Delhi core. Yeah, so... Maybe we can get, them to get rid of all their cores. And Lucknow's almost done. That's great. We have enough money for another dude. Let's recruit a dude. Actually, I want some horsemen. I'll wait for the new year to get some horsemen. the hell? Oh, I've... Really? Hindu Zealots. I wonder if they're going to join my uh, country when I take this, when I take luck now, or if I have to fight them. I hope I don't have to fight them, because I'm Hindu. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure how that uh, mechanic of the game works as far as... Uh, since they have my flag, it says Hindu Zealots and it shows the Bihar flag, then... I don't know if we get those troops or, or what, or if we have to fight them. Well, those sieges are almost done. Orissa is going to help us with the siege. That's cool. And the Timurids went up to Ladakh, it looks like. So the Timurids are going to just go fight the uh, Delhi army up there. It's great. So Delhi's going to be all dead. Malwa, I think we can release... Yeah, we can release Malwa as their own country. You were announced claims. No, that's not enough. And my war score is only 11. I need more war score than that. Wow, yeah. Raj Patani could get peace with Delhi right now and probably take those two. If they want. They may not want to because maybe if they conquer... Delhi's probably the leader in that war. So if they conquer all of these, they can take all these and then get peace with Delhi and then take a couple of... You know what I mean. Yeah, you know what I mean, man. Come on, man. Siege of Lucknow. Cool. So our rebel allies helped us with Lucknow. And that's all we can really take. So why don't we bring you guys back to... I guess Agra is a good central spot. And war score is up to 25%. I want higher war score. I'm not sure if they'll release these two at 25%. I don't think so. No, they won't. I mean, I, I, I want both. Aw, oh, you fuck you, Orissa. You're fighting the dudes with the Bihar flag. Eh, whatever. Don't know how that works anyway, so maybe it's a good thing that they're fighting them. See you Mawa. Alright, so we have what we set out to get. 38%. Will you give us... Agra and Lucknow. You will. Okay, will you release Mawa? You won't. Will you give me Mawa? You won't. You wrote cores on all this crap. You won't, but I want you to. So, uh... <laughs> I mean, that might, be, that might be okay. Maybe we can accept peace quickly, and then next time we go to war with them, maybe we can get Mawa, or force them to release Mawa, or make them release all these cores. I mean, that's a 12% cost on all these cores. <laughs> so you will release Allahabad core or Maito core. <sighs> I guess that's not so bad. We can get our war over with and just move on. Yep, okay. Done. Very cool. 
Now I think that means we also complete our mission. We did, so we lost two infamy. So we gained two infamy for getting those provinces, and we lost it immediately. Very nice. All right. And now we just have to hold on to it somehow. So we still have a diplo. And you guys are still at war with Delhi, and Delhi's probably going to lose some more of this to uh, the hordes. Truce with Timurids, so you probably surrendered to the Timurids, that's fine. And Raj Batana's probably going to take most of this, that's fine. Create an army for our nation. Oh, I hate this one, they want 99%. Total army size, 99% of the force limit. Our force limit is 17. I don't want to build 17 units. Maybe... 14, right? Well, anyway, um, I guess I'll play a little longer and see what happens. I don't really want any more wars. Our enemy is low, but we have some war exhaustion. And, oops, have some war exhaustion. We're making money. I think I need to focus on getting my fort built. Cool. And just making sure that nothing bad happens and maybe recruiting some more troops. Maybe a second general for these dudes. Well, I can't, I don't, I don't have enough money for a general. Yeah. So I got three dudes there. Culture accepted. We're not accepting kan, Kanauji as integral part of nation the language and culture of our heritage. So when a culture gets accepted, it means you have less revolt risk in that region. Is that Kanauji? Yeah. All right. Very cool. So Lucknow had 128,000 people. That's probably why they're accepted all of a sudden. You know, they're brand new. So, yeah, that lowers revolt risk, as you can see, to zero. So we're an accepted culture, and they're a Hindu people, and we're a Hindu country. So revolt risk is super low. Because that, oh, 90% up here. Or 9%. It may just be because it's a much higher population. National focus is Bihar. We could probably safely change that to Bangla. So you get a little more benefit. Yeah, why not? You can't hurt. So Bangla is our national focus. That benefits more territories. And how are we doing on our goal of Hindustan? We own everything except Orissa and Kutuk. And to do that, we're going to have to annex these two territories. We could do it the peaceful way, which is you vassalize them which is very tough to do, but peacefully. And then you ask for them to join your country. But to do that, we need a royal marriage, military alliance, and good relations, which we could do easily. So, you know, maybe. I just don't see it as working out. I see a better strategy. Wow, we look, we look kind of nice right now. I see a better strategy for taking over these two as canceling our alliance with them, keeping our alliance with Rajputana, and maybe getting an alliance with Vijayanara or Gondwana. I'm not sure. That's going to be very difficult. They're allied only with us. So the moment we cancel our alliance, they'll be begging everyone for an alliance, which means they may get one with BJ and Nagara. But if we go to war with Orissa and we get somehow BJ and Nagara on our side, BJ, BJ will take these two and we will take these two. And that would be fantastic because we only need those two to make Hindu style. So yeah, that was our short war with Delhi, and they are still at war with our allies. So let me turn time back on so we can just watch our allies um, destroy them. Recruiting another unit. I guess he finished in Bihar. Uh, let me go ahead and make another dude. Oh, that's right, I wanted cavalry. That's what I was waiting for. What kind of military units can we get? Only those, which kind of suck, but whatever. And hill fighters which are very defensive. Um, I don't know. I don't. I, I usually don't play defensively, but whatever. I'll deal with it. That's fine. Oh yeah, Raj Patana will take Mawa. Oh well. Delhi is just getting destroyed. The Oriad Horror now took it. 
All right, here we go. So here's the piece we were talking about. Deckham will see Konkan, Raichardor, Dodger. So they sit five territories. Wow. Yeah, see, that's what happens. VJ just, they, they balloon up into a major power really quickly. So let's see if we can get this alliance with them. Rejected again. You guys just don't like us. I think it's because they have three alliances already, and I think... And we only have two, so they, you know, it's possible they might accept at some point. Anyway, we have some Diplos and we have some Magistrates, so we should probably spend our Magistrates somewhere. Uh, we can also recruit people. Why don't we see if we can get a better dude? Let's use our Magistrates to make paintings. And what the paintings do is they give you increased cultural tradition, and then if you wait till that gets it to like 80 or 90 percent, then you can recruit these dudes and they'll be like five stars or six star dudes, which is what you want. You don't want these crappy dudes with two stars because their uh, what the, their bonus is just not very high. So why don't we get some marriages down here? Let's see, enter new Gujarat. That's fine. Aha, here we go. Royal marriage. Maybe you guys are all. Hindu, so maybe you'll accept it. Yep, awesome. You're always more likely to get marriages with people from your same faith, your same religion. Because we have some money and are, we're not minting or anything, and we're spending as much as we can on our people. So that means we can buy, we can safely buy some Hillfighter cavalry. So let's get one there and a foot soldier. And let's get one there. Okay. Actually, let's get two there. Ah, oh, VJ, you got your third, or you got your alliance over there. Unlikely. I gotta keep trying though. No. Damn. I really want that alliance. All right, here we go. So Delhi, Delhi, Seed, Malwa, Surat, Barod, Suja, and Manipal. Wow. So Delhi, you, you you gave away almost everything. Yeah. Didn't have any choice though, did you? Oh, we are losing money. Oh, December. That's fine. Delhi and Gujarat. Delhi will concede defeat. So the Timurids got those two from Delhi. So they didn't get any lands during peace. They got it during the wartime. That's interesting. So they still are at war with the Oryad Horde and Chagtai. So they may wind up losing all this still. So our allies are Rajputana. And we want to get Vijay as an ally. We'll see if we can. Oh, oh, we're losing too much money. Fortress and luck now. Six guys. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, how long until that fortress is done? Oh, it's done. Cool. So I can safely take you guys. 20 days. Now I'll, I'll just go with these. I'll safely take you guys up here, and I'll meet you guys there, and then we'll all go to Lucknow, and hopefully we'll be there in time. All right, let's. I mean, I'm really hoping we can get this alliance with VJ. I really want it. You know? Oh, that's right. We're running out of money. Wow, I'm an idiot. Um, money. Yes. Fantastic. All right, so. We have these two strong allies now, and they're probably going to keep fighting the Muslims. So VJ is going to take these three territories probably, and Rajputana is going to take that and maybe Sindh. So we're going to have some strong allies to the east, which is good, because Rajputana will be the next target of the Timurids. At war with Ottomans, Bosnia, Serbia, at war with, Ken at war with Rajputana. Yep. As soon as you border a horde, they immediately go to war with you. It just happens. They don't even have to have a military ready. They don't have any military here, so they just go to war. So now Rajputana is already at war with these guys. They may take some of it. We'll see. 
in the meantime, I need to save my territory of Lucknow, who are Kanenji Patriots. Sickness of King, more power to the nobles. Uh, I think we'll take the stability hit right now. Aristocracy, diplomats, cavalry cost, leader shock, regiment cost, plutocracy, trade efficiency, spies, merchants. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take the stability hit. Alright, our dude's almost there. Alright, our dudes are there. We've got our army of 10,000. Let's go kill these dudes. Oh, we got a minus 5. Oh, that's so unfair. Cool. And they are going to Agra. Okay. And we have two more magistrates. What can we do? Promote cultural unit. This will get rid of a core. So in Jakarta, it'll get rid of the Bengal core. I think I'm more interested in getting rid of Delhi's cores, but I don't think I can. You can only get rid of countries that don't exist anymore, like Deva Bengal. Alright, I'll get rid of cores on Vanga. Significant part of the population of Vanga dreams of independence under the local flag, despite the fact that they are similar to us. All they need is some proper Bihari education. So now if we look at Vanga, instead of three cores, it's only ours. That is beautiful. It's kind of a waste of magistrates, but whatever. Might come in handy at some point. Alright, only minus one. We might be able to get rid of their army this time. Nope. Where are they going? Luck now again. And Oriot Horde, aha, Oriot Horde took Ladakh from Delhi, and they're still at war. And the Timurids have completely invaded my allies, Rajputana. That sucks. Gujarat collapsed, that's fine. Alright, we still haven't killed these guys. They're going back to Agra. Still haven't killed these guys. What do they have left? They have 2,200 left. Just... Alright, I think what I need to do is leave a couple of dudes here. And then I'll take my main army up there. That way when they come back, eh, nah, screw it. Too much effort. Oh, minus six? Really? Jeez. And I lost like nothing, and we're going back and forth. Alright, stability's back up. Fantastic. Treasury at zero. Don't need it. We have a little money, and our force limits are 18. So why don't we go ahead and get some more guys? Why don't we get some... Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so now they're down to 1,000 guys, and maybe we'll kill them this time. If we don't have minus 6. We do have minus 6, and we still killed them. Alright, fantastic. So we can hold 14 people in Lucknow, and our army has 10. So we might want to put some more people in Lucknow. So it looks like that's our biggest revolt area. This one has 0%, 0, 0, 0, 0, 8%. If we go by revolt map, 
Lucknow and Chittagong have the highest revolt. So I need an army in Chittagong for sure. But that revolt's only four. The one in Lucknow is six, I believe it was. Alright. So we're recruiting dudes in Chittagong and we're recruiting dudes in uh, Lucknow. What do we need in luck now? We have eight and two. Why don't we get another cavalry? All right, cool. We have uh, a really crappy king. Now we need new royal marriages because our king died. Okay, why didn't I get a message that my king died? We won the battle of luck now. Get a new monarch. There we go. I don't know why that setting is just a message instead of a pop-up. So our king sucks, our king is 3-3-2, three, three, and our heir is 3-6-3, three, three. so our heir is a little better, but look at this, dash, 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 I mean, nothing notable, not even a 4 anywhere, 3-3-2, three, three, oh, what a horrible king, but can't despair, it's not the end of the world, we do need a general, but I think, kind of want this guy to die, but I kind of want my heir to be a little older first. Actually, we may wind up with a great regency council. Why don't we just make this guy a general, since he sucks. And there. Now we have a general. And we have... 8 and 2. And we have 1, and we're building 3 soldiers there. Alright, let's keep going. Let's get to January. We can build some more dudes. So I know this is unexciting. I guess I will, this is a good spot as any to end the video right here. And I'll uh, just say thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time in part three of Bihar.